Wenzel. I'm the assistant principal here at the middle school. Welcome to the Night of the Arts. In a few minutes, we're going to be hearing our middle school band play. And we also have our art show out behind or outside the auditorium for you all to enjoy before or after the show. Thank you to Mrs. Angeloff and Mr. Joseph for supporting our art students to prepare for the art show. And also thank you to Mr. Stillwagon and Mr. Scott for working with our band students all year long to not only prepare for this show, but also every other show that we've enjoyed this year. Our band directors are second to none. I know from a firsthand experience, I had Mr. Stillwagon as a fourth grader who he actually taught me how to play the flute. And then Mr. Scott was the band director when I was in the marching band as a dance team member in high school. So I have really fond memories with these guys. I know that your students are enjoying them too. Enjoy the night and um, let's please rise for the national anthem.
you believe that good music is timeless? I agree with that too. And especially after doing this for a number of years, I start looking at the things we have done in the past that are really nice selections. That's one of them, Fanfare for a Third Planet. And I look back and I say, oh, we first played that at Pine Ridge in 2005, which is before these kids were even born. So it's a nice piece of music. That was one of our challenge pieces, and these seventh graders did a great job. They actually knocked it out of the park. Uh, when we first passed this out, we could barely make it through about eight measures. And they have done a fantastic job. How about another round of applause for you? Next, we're going to shift gears and go to uh, go the distance from the movie Hercules. What year did the movie Hercules come out? Anybody know that? Anybody? I don't know either, but I know the copyright on this is 1997. So. Another good piece of timeless music. We hope you enjoy it. Go to distance. Super proud of these guys. Let's have one more round of applause for the <laughs> So uh, our last song with the seventh grade band is entitled Knights of Destiny. I think it's supposed to be a regal kind of song uh, with knights in a castle. Um, it's going to feature a trumpet solo by Jacob Hanselman. And uh, we hope you enjoy it. As soon as seventh grade band is done, uh, we will quickly switch gears and get our middle school jazz band set up and start with that. So, Knights of Destiny. Thank you. 
Okay, everyone, sorry about the delay there. No matter how much you prepare here, things happen that you weren't expecting. Uh, I pretty much got all the levels on all the microphones, but the microphone for the trombones wouldn't stay up, so we had to switch that out. And a couple of our people need the music, so we're ready to start the jazz portion of the program. This is the middle school jazz band. Uh, we meet just once a week on Mondays, and uh, terrific group. Uh, super proud of these guys. We're going to have uh, three songs for you tonight. The first one is a Latin song um, arranged by Victor Lopez, and it is called Cherambolo. Okay, our 
next song is going to be On the Sunny Side of the Street. And uh, I'm kind of getting with the times here. I sent myself a text message of the order of the solos here. So let's see if I can be the old guy that makes this work. Here we go. Okay. So we're going to have a bunch of solos on this. Uh, we're going to have Nolan Brizendine on trombone. Okay. We're going to have Ryan and on Will McKay on trumpet. Then we'll have uh, Max Tim Murray on trombone, Ian Kang on alto sax, Andrew Cassisi on barry sax, Nigel Wrestler on alto, and Drew. Why am I going to blank on your name right now, Drew? Priori. Priori, that's right. Drew Priori, that's what you get. Just right, Drew instead of the last one, too. I know Drew well, and um, the thing about Drew is he brought um, these little clip on. Um, what we call those like Christmas bulb type things for my beard for the uh, winter concert, and I had all kind of winter bulbs on my beard, so I'm always good for a good show. So that was a great present. So you get your own little special story since I forgot your name. But um, anyway, with about 14 solos, this should be done. Let's see here. Today's what? Tuesday? Tuesday? Today? Tuesday? Uh, Friday morning. I think is the projected end time. So enjoy, uh, and we have Tyler Rodman playing uh, drum set. So here he is on the sunny side of the street.
solos. So, how about one more hand for our solos? Good job. And that was Tyler Rodman on the drum set on that time. Okay, next, uh, the last song we're going to play for you with the jazz band is a Boogie Woogie Shuffle. So that sounds fun. Uh, In the Doghouse is the name of it. And uh, we've got a bunch of solos on this as well. We've got Ian on alto sax, Silesh on trumpet, Nolan on trombone. Uh, let's see here, we've got... Sean, Sean's not with us tonight, he was sick. So uh, we've got Ryan on trumpet, uh, Andrew on Barry Sax, and Drew on trumpet. And this is in the doghouse, and it will feature Jonathan Fresina on drums. Okay, here we go.
Okay, I didn't introduce myself. I'm Brian Scott, and along with Jim, we teach middle school and high school bands. Uh, we usually do that behind the curtain, but we have a drum set in the way today, so we decided to leave the curtain open. The first tune you're going to hear from the 8th grade band is Triumph of the Vikings. I'm starting to notice a theme. I think we played Knights of Destiny in 7th grade, and now we have Vikings in 8th grade. So I don't know if Mr. Stillwagon planned it when he was programming, but we're going to give him credit for that. Aren't we? All right, so here we are, Triumph of the Vikings. Hope you enjoy Thank you. 
on to the next piece here. Uh, we have a birthday in the house. Harry, Harry Lee, wave to everybody. We're going to give him our quick birthday song, everybody. Here we go. Ready? One, two, ready? And this is your birthday song. It is a very long day. Happy birthday. Okay, so our next song on the program, we were looking for one more song when we uh, had picked our first few here, and uh, I thought this would be a fun one, and uh, I remember it because I'm old from a movie called Wayne's World, uh, where this was a uh, pretty, pretty funny scene, but uh, this is Bohemian Rhapsody uh, by Queen, arranged by John Barry, and uh, all of the parts are in there, so uh, I hope. so. Listen to and see if you guys uh, want to sing along. Go for it. If you want to bob your head like in the Wayne's World movie, do whatever you want to do. We have fun here. So here we go. Bohemian Rhapsody.
about that oboe solo, huh? You just got to have an oboe solo. Great job. That was definitely one of our challenge pieces for the eighth grade, and they did a great job with it. Uh, before we go on to the final piece, I just want to mention a couple things. First of all, after tonight, we have a tradition where we start calling these kids freshmen because this is their final performance with the middle school band, and their first high school experience actually happens in two weeks. So those of you eighth grade parents, you might want to put this on your calendar. We just uh, got the date confirmed today, but two weeks from today, we have mini band camp at the high school after school. That's the 21st, and we're also gonna have it on the 23rd. So that's Tuesday and Thursday. And what will happen is the eighth graders who are doing band next year, We'll come over to the high school and we'll pass out our new music for next year and they will be considered freshmen. And we have an awesome group of people who have signed up for the high school band and we have an awesome group of people, obviously, in our eighth grade band. We are so proud of them. How about one more round of applause for our eighth grade band? And I think one year when we did this last number, Mr. Stillway actually had a costume for this, but Unfortunately, we'll have to encourage him to wear his Lady Gaga costume some other day. So, here's Lady Gaga with Mr. Stillway. Nothing like waiting until the last minute, but uh, I sent Mr. Karpinski a text about uh, five minutes ago. So I'll let him check his text, and if he's able to work some magic, then you'll know, and if he's not, then it'll just go off as normal, so. <laughs> we'll see what kind of magician Mr. Karpinski is. Uh, oh yeah, I like, it. I like what I'm seeing already. All right, we actually have uh, Shoebox, where are you at? Where's Shoebox? Oh, stand up. He was our, our resident white guy in the band room whenever we were rehearsing this, and we wanted somebody to do the blinking lights. So, so he was great. Here we go. Enjoy, tap your foot, dance, whatever you want to do. Lady Gaga.
Uh, Mr. Kropinski on the lights. Spontaneous lights, great job. Thank you very much everybody, drive safe.